Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, D-Dun Elizabeth, and I feel like it's time for another What I Eat in a Day. And so that's what we're doing today. We're doing a What I Eat in a Day and just a brief preview of what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks, y'all. I kind of, I won't say I fell off, but I haven't been consistent with my eating, with my logging, with my tracking. And I could tell because your girl gained some weight. When I look in the mirror, I still look the same, but I know that I'm just getting off track and I don't like when I get off track. Baby, when I say I drunk so much during spring break, I feel like I'm still recovering. Like I'm still tired, I'm still woe out. And sometimes when you do stuff that you're not used to doing, your body really suffers greatly from it. So that's how I realized like, I just had this urge that I want to just get drunk so bad. So I just drunk and I realized that's not what I wanted to do. But I had to get it out of my system. I, I was tired of telling myself, oh, done, you don't need to drink. I was like, girl, drink that drink and be done with it. So now I'm done with it. So today I'm going to be showing y'all how what I eat on in a day just to get right back on track. I'm going to go to the gym. I'll show you guys my workout routine for today, which is going to be an upper body. And pretty much just getting back on track. Like You will be amazed at how fast the weight fall off when you get right back on track. Like, of course, if you're eating stuff that's not in your daily routine, you will literally gain, like, maybe five, six pounds. But it's literally water weight. And once you get right back on track, the weight will drop. Literally. Drop, 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 drop. So, with that being said, let me stop talking. Let's get into what I eat in a day. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. So first things first, I'm going to start my morning off with my teamy skinny. Like I said in my last video, I'm doing this detox and I want y'all guys to do it with me because I literally, I started it a couple of days ago and I already feel relieved. Like you will be surprised at how much stuff is stuck inside of your colon, the toxins and everything that needs to be flushed out. And this is a great way to detox your body, detox your colon and just overall boost your metabolism provide you energy so that's why i start with this in the morning and sometimes i add some green tea and some lemon ginger tea to it just to give it some more flavor and of course those have great benefits for boosting your metabolism giving you energy healthy digestion all those things to make sure that my body is flowing correctly so while i'm preparing my breakfast i'm going to be sipping on my teamy skinny and i'll show you guys what i'm having for breakfast okay y'all so for breakfast i'm keeping it simple i'm going to be using this honey wheat Keto bread is 40 calories per slice. I really love it because I love bread and it keeps my calories low. And I'm going to be using some cheese. And I'm going to be doing some thick slices of this honey ham from H-E-B. Some egg whites. And I'm going to be making a breakfast sandwich along with my favorite yogurt. Which is this Dan and Light and Fit. 45 calorie yogurt and so that's gonna be my breakfast i like to keep it real simple y'all especially when i don't feel like cooking don't get me wrong y'all i'm trying to find some new stuff to eat so that will be in the plans in the future to find some different things to eat because i eat the same thing all the time because it works you know i don't like to switch up make it too complicated fix what works and keep it going eventually you'll venture out to trying different things but until then do what works for you okay All right, you guys, so I had an amazing workout and sorry to say that I will not be having my workout in this video because somebody wants to be Mr. Planet Fitness today, but we're not going to give it any bad energy. The man told me that I cannot record after I have recorded several videos in this gym, y'all. I was pissed, but anyways, we're going to let it go. It's lunchtime now, and I'm going to be doing me some air fried salmon tip, y'all. Get the salmon. The key ingredient is some squeezed garlic and some honey. Put it in the air fryer on 400 degrees for seven minutes, and it will be just right. And on the side, I'm going to be doing some sweet peas, y'all. Let me show y'all the sweet peas that I love to eat. I eat these sweet peas all the time. Boom. 
And they are 100 calories, y'all. I love these sweet peas. They have a great taste. You don't have to add anything extra to it. If I'm feeling like I want a little extra, I might add a little sugar or maybe some butter. But on, on GP, you don't need to add anything in these sweet peas. They taste amazing. So that will be my lunch. And I also will be throwing in a Premier Protein to add in some extra protein to that meal. And your girl is starving. So I will show y'all the finished product. All right, y'all, so here is the finished product. As y'all can see, these are a lot of peas for 100 calories. And this is, let me show y'all the protein shake that I'll be adding. Boom. Clear protein drink, 90 calories, 20 grams of protein. So, yeah, go cop that off Amazon ASAP. All right, you guys, so it's snack time, and I have literally been craving some fresh grapefruit juice. So I'm going to be using this MZ Chef Juicer to create me some fresh grapefruit juice. So I already put it together. I got the instructions. You can read the book on how to put it together. I put it together. And let's try this out. Let me turn this on. So let's see. This end. Small. So I'm gonna cut the pieces real small, so go through, and then I'm gonna push this through. So I'm gonna put this whole grateful in here, y'all, because I've been doing my homework and I really, really need some energy. Lots of energy and spray fruit will be really good for what I need. Oh, y'all, I'm excited. And I will be posting the details on where you could purchase this in my bio. I mean, in the details, y'all, this ain't Instagram. So then all the pills, the pills go in one cup, and then the other part go up in here, and then we have some fresh juice, grapefruit juice. So, all right, let's pull it up and try it out. It's a nice size. Need a little ice, but great taste. I know this mixed with like a smooth, like some ice and a smooth little taste amazing, y'all. So definitely purchase this, y'all. I'm going to start using this every single day just because I be wanting some fresh juice. And I don't even like oranges, but I'm going to make some fresh orange juice just because getting those nutrients from the fruit in daily is just amazing. So I'm going to be doing this fresh cup of grapefruit juice with some yogurt. Let me grab the yogurt. I'm gonna be doing this too good mixed berry yogurt, and that's what I'm gonna be eating for snack. And yep, so this is snack time, and I'll be back for then. Then, all right, you guys. So it's dinner time, and since it's Tuesday, I'm a strong believer in always having Taco Tuesday. So tonight, I'm gonna be making me some chicken tacos. But the chicken that I'm gonna be using is these boneless chicken thighs, and I use these all the time just for some fact they're very low in calorie. And you get a lot of chicken for the calorie amount, y'all. So I'm going to be doing eight ounces of chicken. It's a lot. And I love a good amount of protein. Like, love it. So, while I'm preparing my food, I'm just going to talk to y'all and give y'all some motivation. Because lately, I've been mentally not into the journey. And let me tell y'all. One thing that I realized is patience is definitely key when being on a weight loss journey. And I'm just speaking facts. Just for the simple fact that... You only feel like weight loss isn't working when you rush in the process. And the reason why I say this is because I know, because it had been several times where I felt as though I wasn't losing any weight. I'm never going to get to where I want to be. And that's only because I wasn't being patient. I wasn't, miss, I wasn't sticking to the process. And that's why I say anybody can lose the weight. Literally. Anybody can lose the weight. But the question is, 
how bad do you want? And one thing I've noticed is I had to make a lot of sacrifices. A lot of sacrifices including changing my mind and changing how I view myself. And basically, number one was believing in myself. Like, if you believe that you could do something, it's nothing that would, that can stop you. But I was listening to this motivational video about Steve Harvey, and he was saying, you could believe that you could do something all day long. Like, in your mind, you know that you could do it, but until you act upon that belief, nothing. Nothing. You know? You know the answer. So what I'm saying is, Patience is the key to weight loss. Like, it's literally about being patient and being consistent. Just for the simple fact that it takes time to transform your body. And most people don't want to take the time to go through that process. And the one thing that I can notice about myself is going through that process made me realize so much about myself. It was more than a weight loss. It was like a self-identification, like learning myself in a way that I never knew myself. Like I feel like I'm a new person and not necessarily a new person, but I just know things about myself that I didn't before. Just going through through hard work and dedication and going to places, taking my mind places and my body places that I had never been before. So when I say that it takes patience and consistency, that's exactly what I mean. Like losing weight is so simple, but it's not easy. Nothing in life that's worth, that you want, that really that you really want and it takes hard work to get, is easy, but it can be done. And that's the thing that you gotta keep in your mind. Like if I feel like I could do something, I'm gonna put in the work every single day to do it. And I'm gonna keep doing what I gotta do to get to my goals. And with that being said, let's get ready for Taco Tuesday. All right, child, so let me show y'all what I do. I take the air fryer, and the chicken is very greasy, so avoid all that extra grease, because I don't know if you have time to do clean up all that, y'all. I'll be lazy sometimes, but I take the foil, take you a nice little sheet of foil, and you cover the bottom of it. Cover the bottom of it, put it in there so it can kick all the grease. Right, and then what I do is put the chicken in the air fryer, you know, put it in there, Woo. make sure you spread it out, put the chicken in the air fryer, then using your other hand, don't touch stuff with chicken hand. I take it and I spray it a little bit. I spray the top. I should have sprayed the bottom, but oh well, I did I spray the top a little bit with this non-stick cooking spray, zero calories boo. And then we popping it into the air fryer, okay? So let me turn y'all this way. One second. So now we're here. I'm putting it in the air fryer. So y'all know if y'all put it the right way, it's going to click. All right, so let's plug this bad boy up. All right, then I turn it on 400 and I'm gonna cook the first side for 12 minutes. Now after that 12 minutes over, I'm gonna flip it over, add me some onions, bell peppers for the last go round to make it a real Taco Tuesday. And then I'm gonna let that cook for 10 minutes. And then just like that, you go do something, come back, switch it over, go do something again, and your food will be ready. All right, so as we're closing in on the last four minutes of this chicken, I'm gonna smash these tacos, y'all. Let me show y'all what I'll be using. So, if you're regular to my channel, y'all know I use these Carb Sense tortillas all the time. They're 45 calories. I'm gonna be doing two tacos, and we loading them up, okay? And then, of course, I love, I'm addicted to cheese, y'all. I, I just, I can't let it go. I eat cheese all the time. I'm aware of the side effects. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, but I'm gonna be using this Mexican blend cheese, some sour cream, of course, and spinach to add in some more greens along with the vegetables that I already put in the air fryer. Y'all, and I'm also going to be adding this this on the side as like my taco dip. I love this Tostitos, Tostitos avocado salsa, it's so good, and then the salsa con queso. 
I literally pour this in a bowl, warm it up, mix it together, and pour it on my taco or dip my taco in it, y'all. And it's the like perfect duo. So that's what we're gonna be doing for dinner. And I roughly weighed everything. I'm gonna weigh all my size. I'm gonna weigh all this right here. And I will show you guys the finished product. And if you're not having Taco Tuesday, do not miss out on the next week. Because we will have Taco Tuesday again every single Tuesday for the rest of my life, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys. Now, this is what we call Taco Tuesday. Like, this is Taco Bell Grande. St. Taco Bell, the St. Gringo's, whatever Mexican restaurant y'all think y'all missing with. This is top of the line right here, okay? So, this is dinner. Okay. So, now to top everything off. Y'all know I gotta finish with dessert. I'm gonna be doing this M&M Fun Cup. It's 120 calories. Y'all, it tastes so good. And that completes my day of eating. I just be wanna let you guys know that being in a calorie deficit can be actually fun. Like you could experiment with different foods, try different things out, incorporate your favorite foods that's not so healthy, but still just creating that 80-20, like incorporating more healthier foods, less of bad foods not necessarily bad foods but less nutritionist food and just making it work like fat loss is fun losing weight should be fun don't make it more stressful than it already is okay so with that being said i hope this video was helpful and y'all know the cue come back and mess with your girl